Hello friends, today's video is a very exciting one because it is finally time to give you an updated Harry Potter bookcase tour. If you've been following me for a while now, you know that I did a Harry Potter bookcase tour in 2020. At that point, I was just starting my collection and it was just the one bookcase. One and a half year later, I kind of expanded and I have two bookcases to show you guys. So each shelf has its own theme. I'm going to show you all the items that are on it. And I think the majority of these items came from small shops and small businesses, which makes it a very interesting mix. And I definitely have some unique items that you've probably never seen before. In case you watched my nerdy house tour, you will probably notice that this is not the same room. We have actually switched rooms and now the one that you saw in the nerdy house tour video is our bedroom. And this is now the Harry Potter room slash home office. And if you like these kind of videos, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Let's get started. All right, and before I forget, a big thank you to my patrons. You help me keep this channel running, and if you feel like it is something for you, then definitely go check it out. Just head over to patreon.com and type in my name, Leanna Brooks. On top are the empty boxes from my pops. They are spread throughout my bookcases. First up is the dark arts section. So this is a Borgen and Burks auctioneer guide made by Danny from Wizardry Workshop. A skeletal wand made by Geekio Wizardry and another item from them is the Tom Marvel Riddle bookmark you can see in the background. This is a very cool pop, Lord Voldemort with Nagini. And I like to pop my pops, that's a really bad joke, by putting them on candles, shell cottage, and of course the dagger that was used by Bellatrix. In the background, the certificate of registry of birth of Tom Marvel Riddle made by Colin Crate. The print next to that is uh, another one made by Colin Crate, the Dark Mark, uh, with the Angel of Death. Death statue from Geeky Wizardry. Then here we have another Geeky Wizardry item, the Prophecy Orb, and that is standing on the actual replica of a little note made by Regulus Black. Then over here we can see a beautiful card, a basilisk, a venom, and that is made by uh, Mist and Magic. A little mirror, another mini replica from Geeky Wizardry that was used by Hermione for the basilisk. That is why I put the page from uh, the book about the basilisk above that. And of course, when we encounter the basilisk, we need Venom Antidote made by Miss M. Magic. So there's a little vial of blood. Of course, this is not real blood. It is um, fake blood and it came in a Dracula box that was made by Magical Suitcase. But I thought it would look good next to a Mubla poster made by Geeky Wizardry. That was it, my dark arts shelf. Now let's move on to the potion shelf. Let's start on the right. We have Seamus Finnegan standing next to a feather. I thought that would be appropriate because he blew himself up with that charm when guarding Leviosa. Then we have a vial with snowy owl feathers and a friendship elixir. Both were made by two of my friends and I had to put them on this shelf. Then next to that is a restorative potion from the Royal Herbarium. And this was made by Miss and Magic. And wait till you see this, guys. When you shake this potion, it turns into this beautiful brown red liquid that swirls. I love swirly potions. Let's put that back. Oh, Seamus, don't fall. Thought it would be quite funny to put a restorative potion next to Seamus because he needs some restoration. Moving on, oh, I forgot to show you one more item, my Potion Master's card. Another item by Mist and Magic. Over here we have a Ron and a Lavender coaster that I got from Magical Suitcase and it is up next to a Love Potion 
and some incense. A beautiful essence of euphoria print underneath that four little cups that represent four different potions made by Giga Wizardry. One of them is Felix Felicis and that is another potion I have in my possession. And again, look at the swirls. It is a liquid look. This potion came from an Etsy shop called Dizzy Hazel Art and in case you want to see it you can check out my Etsy haul. Then we have a lot of little potions from different boxes. One of my favorite is Barufio's Brain Elixir from Cotton Crate, some Veritas Serum, Skelligro, an aging potion that used to be purple but is now light blue, Unicorn Blood, some Wolfsbane potion with a little wolf charm, another aging potion, and some Draught of Peace. More potions, you say, I got you covered. Next up is Patronus Essence, and this was made by Magical Suitcase, and I love that it's the exact same color as a Patronus. Thought that was such an original idea, so I put that over here. And then, this is a very special one from Column Crate, Snape's memory vial. How amazing is that? So of course I had to put that next to a pop of Snape and again, oh, it looks so pretty. Let's put that back. There's a beautiful little charm. Over here we have the man himself, Snape, also known as the Half-Blood Prince. And he is standing next to a beautiful potion lamp. And this is another one of my favorites, by the way, Troll Snots. Um, how cool is that? It is a green, disgusting liquid. And of course, some drop of living death. The Advanced Potion Making Book, a full text replica and a beautiful card uh, that is from Colin Crate, I want to say, and has a quote from the Half-Blood Prince. Then in the back, let me grab that. Oh, yeah, I, I got it. It is Polyjuice Potion and ooh, oh, Snape, oh my gosh. As I was saying, Polyjuice Potion, let's put that back. Um, and in front of that, a, a little coloring from Gear Wizardry. And that is everything on my potions shelf. So let's move on to the next shelf, which is all about potions ingredients. So in honor of mixing potion ingredients, I had to put Hermione over here in her cap form. Then over here, I have a really disgusting thing, which is called arachnide eggs. And yes, there are actual little spiders in here. This came from Wizarding Trunk. And next to that, another vial with a spider axe. Gross. Next to that, an apothecary loyalty card. You can collect stamps. I've only got one so far. I'm not really good at it. I should go to Diagon Alley again to save some stamps. <laughs> this next item is one I'm very proud of. It is made by Magical Suitcase and it is a potions kit. They actually made this entire thing and inside were a lot of potions. I've displayed them now, but look at that, you guys. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you a few. We have a fire seeds. I love how these look. Jobber Knoll feather. And some unicorn hair. I've also got some moonstone powder. Some phoenix tears. Powdered mandrake root and mistletoe. More little prints, one from Conan Crate and a two on the right from Mist and Magic. And then beneath that, a, a little box from Norland's Apothecary Golden Broom Leaves, crystallized dragon blood, which looks really cool, sleeping draught. A little bag that has lavender in it and then next to that is this box and it holds cockatrice eggs let me see if I can open this with one hand can I oh 
wait, yes, oh yes, I can. <laughs> and here they are, two little cockatrice eggs. Let's put that back. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is hard with one hand. Over here we have some stone moss and this was made by Miss Magic and actually glows in the dark. After a day of working with potion ingredients, we need some magical beverages, fire whiskey from the wizarding trunk and gilly water from magical suitcase. Above that, my acceptance letter, which is personalized and another letter addressed to me over at Grimmauld Place. Two collectible cards from Mist and Magic, which look absolutely gorgeous. And of course, my personalized Hogwarts trunk with my initials. Let's see what's inside. Inside this trunk, I keep a lot of random items like my studio tour passport and other stuff. So this is a strap that you can use so you can wear it as a bag. This one on top is from Miss and Magic, Department for the Regulation and Control of Dangerous Magical Substances. And this is supposed to be your own card that has some stamps and other stuff in it. Then beneath that is a dark mark tattoo that I one day would like to use because it's awesome. And there are also some collectible cards from a literary crate that I only have six of or something and I don't know what to do with them, but I don't want to throw them away. Beneath that is actually a spoiler card from Miss and Magic. Again, it looks too beautiful to throw away, so I wanted to keep it in this little trunk. And beneath that is another acceptance letter, but this time to a magical university in Edinburgh. This was made by Miss and Magic, and it is just so beautiful, but I don't know what to do with it, so I put it in this little trunk. Let's close that and let's move on to the next shelf. Because beneath my potions ingredients shelf is another shelf dedicated to wands and their spells. So first up is a map of Diagon Alley. You can see the Leaky Cauldron and all the other shops because in order for us to get a wand, we need to go there. This first wand is made by the Wizarding Trunk and of course it's Hagrid's Umbrella Wand. It's pretty big, but I can still use it. Nope, that's not where it went. Yes, there you go. Okay, then here we have some wands made by Geeky Wizardry and the little one on top is from Lidjoy Crate and two official wands from the studio tour. Can you tell? It is Hermione's wand and at the back, let me see if I can show you guys, it is Albus Dumbledore's wand, the Elder Wand. I'll pull it out because I don't know if you can see it. There you go. The Elder Wand in a beautiful velvet case. I know I don't have a lot of wands, but honestly, it's not my favorite item to collect. So that's why it's just this one shelf. Next to that are these two beautiful coins that say Alohomora and Lumos. They came in the Litjoy Magical Edition crate and they are just so beautiful. I had to put them on this shelf. Then a coaster that says Wincardium Leviosa and the hand movement with another two wands from Geeky Wizardry. And then a beautiful wooden wand stand made by Magical Suitcase with another four wands from Geeky Wizardry. My favorite wand on this shelf is the Ravenclaw wand. It came in a Geeky Wizardry House Special Edition box. And that was everything on my wands and spell shelf. Moving on to House of Black. First up, a beautiful poster of Sirius Black in his prison outfit made by Tony Blake. And I had to put this pop in front of it, Sirius with his Azkaban prison number. And of course, we could read all about that in the Daily Prophet. So this is another full text replica, which I bought on Etsy. And I actually use it as my background at the moment for my Instagram. And standing on the Daily Prophet is a cute little golden owl that came as an extra gift with another golden item, which you'll see later on in this video. 
and a Lita Lestrange print that came in one of my Geek Your Wizardry boxes. And she is, of course, related to Sirius Black. And yes, there's room to grow on this shelf. And beneath that, it's not Harry Potter. It's Disney. I absolutely love Disney. I love the movies. I love the merchandise. I love going to the theme parks. It's literally the happiest place in the world. So I had to dedicate one shelf to it. So let me show you these items. Of course, I have some ears and then I have two Disney buttons, which are actually really funny. Not a morning person and you don't believe me. You're in denial. Yeah. That's my kind of humor. Kristoff from Frozen standing in front of Frozen Ears, a Disney snow globe, which I bought in Paris with the sticker still on it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just love snow globes. Next to that is one of my favorite characters, Stitch. Some LGBTQ plus love. I am definitely gonna wear these ears on my next trip. In the back, a card from Disney that has the year on it, 2019. Over here is something that was meant to go on my keychain, but it broke. Uh, it's just way too heavy, uh, but that's one of the iconic buildings at Disney. Two Haunted Mansion bracelets. All right, I have to show you guys this. This is a little keychain of a droid from Star Wars, and you can actually turn it on. That's funny, right? With the lights and the weird noise. Ah, you could probably scare a lot of people when you turn it on. And then last but certainly not least, this beautiful Disney Lounge Fly backpack that is inspired by the Haunted Mansion. And that's it, my little Disney shelf. This is a box a lot of you will probably recognize. It is from Lidjoy Create, the magical subscription box. And this one was themed around the burrow. One of my shelves is actually themed around the burrow. So that will be fun to show you guys. But I basically put this box here to cover up some wires. And I also think it's a really, really pretty box that I do not want to get rid of. It's a piece of art. So I just put it over there. To give you an idea of where we are, we are between the two bookcases. So this little section has some posters and my pins. This beautiful poster was made by Danny from Wizarding Workshop. It is a part of the Daily Prophet, he who must not be named returns. Next to that, I have a proclamation. I actually had three or four of these, but I got rid of them. I just kept this one and put it up here. This was in one of the Geeky Wizardry boxes. I already showed you this, the Ollivanders of Wand Sign. A beautiful poster that is actually the certificate of most charming smile earned by Gilderoy Lockhart. I just had to put that up here. I love it. A little bit above that, and we'll get to the pins in a minute, is a poster of Lucius Malfoy. Couldn't get rid of that. Had to keep it. So it's over there next to the dark arts section. A beautiful, beautiful, and I'm so in love with this piece of art, beautiful art print by Holly Simpson. And my Ravenclaw banner represents a light box made by Magical Suitcase that says Hogwarts will always be there to welcome you home. So I thought that was a cute touch. We have Hogwarts on our print and Hogwarts on a light box. And it's standing on my four books, the fault books, the creature fault, magical places, the character fault and the artifact faults. In case you want a flip through of these books, I will put that video up in the info cards. I have some more art on the left, but let's first take a look at my pins. So I have two pin banners here. 
One is for my special pins, as I like to call them. It is a Ravenclaw pin banner. And the pin banner came from Call and Create and the pins on there came from different subscription boxes. So the Yule Ball pin is from the Wizarding Trunk. The sword is from Call and Create. This came from the studio tour with actual sand in it. And this is one from Cherry Wallace's box. So these are the more special and big pins that I own. And these are the more normal sized pins, but still really gorgeous and special. This is one from Cherry Wallace's box as well. A Colin Cray pin, a literary Cray pin with the stone inside. Some pins from the studio tour. A lot of pins. Actually, I have one more pin banner from Geeky Wizardry, but the new monthly item is a pin, so I'm just gonna save that one until the end of the year and put it up somewhere. Let me show you guys the rest of my art prints because I have more. This one is really creepy. It is obviously the Prison of Azkaban and it is made by Tony Blake. Another creepy one made by Holly Simpson, Aragog, and the Fort Anglia. Next to that is one that I find very, very beautiful. It is of course the Mirror of Erised, where Harry sees his parents. Then beneath that, Fox the Phoenix. And this was made by Kevin Kentwell. He did a lot of art prints for Giga Wizardry. The glare. Oh my gosh. I don't know from which artist this is, but I believe it came in one of my Giga Wizardry boxes. I have still some room left. Um, so when I get more art prints, I will definitely put them up here. In the left corner, we have some more books. This is a movie scrapbook that I bought at the studio tour, A Journey Through a History of Magic and a History of Magic. The Hogwarts Library box set. And again, if you want to see these books, uh, check out my Harry Potter book collection video. This is a little calendar that I love and I don't want to throw away. I love this art print. A Valentine's card from Romilda to Harry. I thought this was such an original item and I wanted to hang on to it. This here is my personalized ooh, notebook that I bought at the studio tour. And behind that, a copy of Witch Weekly, which is actually the spoiler card from Literary Crate. So that is everything on top of the second bookcase. Now let's move on to this one. Each shelf has its own theme. Let's start at the bottom. In the left corner, I have a little cupboard that has some stuff in it that I rarely need, but still have to hold on to. So that's why I have put them there. And because I still wanted to make it Harry Potter, because it is part of my Harry Potter bookcase, I put a beautiful art print on it that is made by Cherry Wallace. It is a baby mandrake and I absolutely love it. Next to that is my Luna Lovegood shelf. I mean, Luna Lovegood has to have her own shelf and of course there should be a Thestral. So in the back we have a Thestral art print Luna with her lion headgear. On the left, a beautiful art print. I don't remember the artist, but this came in one of the Geeky Wizardry boxes. I think it was the Luna Lovegood Special Edition. A bottle that holds Nargles. Another bottle that came in one of my Colin Crate boxes with Gertie Root Infusion something that Xenophilius Lovegood kept in his home. Of course, Luna's wand, her cork, necklace, and a full paper replica of the Quiddler. Next to Luna Lovegood is my precious book, Harry Potter Film Wizardry. I just love this cover. And behind that, 
I have some memorabilia. The Harry Potter and the Cursed Child book that I got when I went to see the play. This is a really precious memory because I got to go there with my brother. And as some of you might know, he is a very, very sick and um, it's not going well. So I'm really happy that I get to hold on to this. It's really special to me. Beneath that, the official guide of the Warner Bros. Studio Tour and Harry Potter, the exhibition that came to the Netherlands, I think two years ago. And this is also where I keep my pin banner from Geeky Wizardry. The monthly item is a pin, so once that is full, I will put it up somewhere. And this here is a leather case in which I keep my paper replicas. I bought this at an Etsy shop called Mere Leather. It has the Deathly Hallows sign, which I love. And inside are all my magical paper replicas. Like this one, the Muggleborn Registration Commission form. And next to that is another little cupboard. And in this one, I actually keep my mystery box items for my next giveaway. And to make it a little bit more magical, there is a book page on it that says Dragon Care. This is another item from the Wizarding Trunk Special Edition that was themed around Hagrid. This next shelf is dedicated to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So right in the middle, you can see a licensed item. This is the Golden Egg Necklace. And what's so cool about this one is that it actually opens. Then next to that, we have the Tri-Wizard Cup. This is a mini replica from Giga Wizardry. A personalized paper replica that says Leanna Brooks. So yes, I was chosen to participate in a Tri-Wizard tournament and I won. <laughs> and here we have the Goblet of Fire paper replica of Florida Liqueur. A little dragon with the golden egg that came from Giga Wizardry. Behind that, the golden egg replica. Of course, this is not the original replica. It is a mini version that I found on Etsy. Behind the golden egg, you can see a pumpkin juice bottle from the Yule Ball. This came from Cherry Wallace's box, the curation of magical curiosities. And this item is a key that represents a bow baton. And I believe this came in the special edition box from a wizarding trunk. I'm gonna scoot you guys a little bit forward. So I don't know if you can see this, but in the back there is the painting uh, of the mermaid that we can find in a prefects bathroom. I thought that looked super cool with the golden egg beneath it. There is an official Yule Ball invitation at the back and then in front of it I put Cho Chang in her Yule Ball outfit and she is actually standing on a candle that is called Date with Cho Chang. And of course a Victor Crumb in his Yule Ball outfit. So that is my shelf dedicated to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Next to that there is a shelf that I dedicated to Diagon Alley. So let's take a closer look. In the back, you can see a beautifully illustrated map with Diagon Alley, Nocturne Alley, and Gringotts. There is a leaky color menu, which actually has a menu in it. This beautiful key to my room at the leaky cauldron. And when you walk out of the Leaky Cauldron, you can go to all the shops at Diagon Alley. So I bought this set at Enchanted Parchment. It is a letter writing set. I do not remember from which box this came. I think Mr. Magic. Yeah, it probably is. So this is an actual set with envelopes and paper. And behind that, a notebook from Floors and Plots. Love that. And in front of that, some items from Gringotts Bank. So we got a depository receipt, a little pouch, a key to a vault, my a letter to that vault. And this came from another Etsy shop. Three coins. These are not the official ones, again, from an Etsy shop. 
and a little sign that says Hawksmeat. This came from Geeky Wizardry. You might notice two blue legs hanging in the corner. That is my Cornus Pixie up to mischief. And I think he went over there because the next shelf is all about Fantastic Beasts. On the left, there's a little art print with information about the Phoenix. And in the middle of the shelf, we have Fox the Phoenix. And he is standing on a candle that is called Picket. In the back, you can see a drawing that was made by one of my friends called Lara. She is really talented and this is, of course, an Acme. Next to that, we have another art print from Geeky Wizardry, a Demi guys. This cute little guy in the back is a Boggart. Another Cornus Pixie in the back and he's ripping out some pages from one of the books at Hogwarts. This is one of the magical creatures. They are quite expensive, but I love how they look. And at the front of this shelf, we have a Thestral Pop. There's another Thestral figure that is from Geeky Wizardry. Hermione with her little Mandrake and a lure from Fantastic Beast, and I think this was another Geeky Wizardry item. So that is my Fantastic Beast shelf, and to the left of that is a shelf dedicated to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And somehow this shelf is mainly white with red. I've got some really cool items on here. So first of all, a mini replica of the Merit of Erised, and on there I put a flying key, and of course the Philosopher's Stone in front of it, so you can also see it in the mirror. A Rememberal, another really important item from the first book and movie. In the back, another art print that was made by Cherry Wallace, and the chess piece in front of it is also from her box. The curation of magical curiosities. Same goes for the flying key, which is actually an ornament. Hagrid's flute, that was of course another important item from the first book. And a Gryffindor coin. Honestly, I just didn't know where to put this and I thought it will look good on the shelf because it is red and it is all about Gryffindor. This next shelf is all about Quidditch. So we have some Quidditch supplies. Then we have Harry with a little broom and a snitch in his hand. So adorable. There's a Funko Pop of Ron flying on a broom, a Quidditch set that is an official licensed item. I got this in one of my magical suitcase boxes, a banner of the Holy Head Harpies, a little bottle of Skelligrel that came in one of my Geeky Wizardry boxes. And the main attraction of this shelf is me flying on a broom. This was taken at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. I'm so happy in this picture. <laughs> I love it. From Quidditch, we go to magical transportation. Let's start at the left. So this is a sign that says Hogwarts Express platform nine and three quarters. And beneath that, a ticket to the Hogwarts Express. I think this was bought at the studio tour. Over here we have a coin that gives you entrance to the Ministry of Magic. A candle that says Hogwarts Express. In the back you can see the purple night bus that was made of Lego. I really enjoyed making that. I love to do more of those. Above that is a night bus ticket. On top of the candle is Sirius Black in dog form and I put him there because I thought it would look nice next to the night bus. And I absolutely love this pen from Funko Pop with the shrunken head. At the back another art print from Lidry Crate that represents Diagon Alley. On the right side we have a print of Hagrid's hut and some more Hagrid items. So his lantern, his goggles, one of the most amazing items I've ever gotten in a box. This came from Reasoning Trunk and his key. So this is the ground keeper's key. An item that I really wanna to add to this shelf is flu powder, but so far I haven't found one yet. Next to magical transportation is Honey Dukes. 
Honey Dukes is one of my favorite themes because I just love the colors. So there's a lot of pink, green, and of course purple because of the chocolate frog cards. So these are some cards. You have one over there and this one for Weena Ravenclaw. So I had to put her at the front. A chocolate frog. A little sherbet lemon shop sign. We have Ron with scabbers because we all know Ron likes the trolley. A bottle of butterscotch beer. And in the back, a book that is a scratch and sniff adventure. And of course, the birthday cake that was made by Hagrid. This is a replica from Geeky Wizardry. Next to that is a shelf dedicated to the Marauders. We can see Lupin and he's standing on a paper replica that says Lycanthropy. There's some Didney Silver, which is a potion ingredient that he needs. A paper replica of the letter that Sirius Black sent to Harry. A Hogwarts Marauders candle. The Sneakoscope, because that is something that went off when uh, Ron was with Scabber. So, of course, Peter Pettigrew, who is also an Animagus. On the left, there's an art print of Harry casting his Patronus when he is with Sirius Black. At the back, a paper replica that explains what an Animagus is. The Marauders map, a mini replica that I bought in one of the Etsy shops. A beautiful glass bottle with fairy lights in it that says, the world isn't split into good people and death eaters. A quote by Sirius Black. And behind Lupin, one of his accessories that you will find in his office at Hogwarts. And if you want to, you can actually put a candle in there. You might have noticed this sign. I didn't know where to put it, but it is a sign of the restricted section. I thought it would look nice in this corner. If you guys want a better look at the Marauders map, you can check out my Etsy haul. Let's move on to the final four top shelves. I am so excited to show you guys this next one because it is all about the burrow. The burrow is of course one of the most magical places in the Wizarding World and I got a fantastic box by Lidgerd Crate that was themed around the burrow so I just had to dedicate an entire shelf to the burrow and the Weasleys. In the back the magical matrimony of Arthur and Molly Weasley. Next to that the wedding invitation of Fleur and Bill. On the right you have a replica of the letter that Mr. and Mrs. Weasley sent to the Dursleys and they didn't quite know how many stamps to use. A beautiful, beautiful alarm clock that represents the magical clock at the burrow. The alarm clock is actually standing on top of Ron's hat. There's a key to Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, a staff sign that looks so awesome, extendable ears, and puking pastels, and this came from a column crate. Here you can see a photo strip of the Weasley twins and their pygmy puffs, and another art print from Lidger Crate that represents the burrow. And the gnoming spray and a family portrait of the Weasleys. So that is all on the Weasleys. Next to that, I have my Hogwarts Professor shelf. In the back you can find some owl results. So the one on the right is from Literary Crate and I think the one on the left came from a magical suitcase. Beneath that is a replica of the Mimbilis Mimbotonia, I want to say, and that represents Herbology. And that one came from the Curation of Magical Curiosities, so Cherry Wallace's box. A pop of Gilroy Lockhart because who doesn't love him as a professor? And he is standing on some fan mail and a picture on the right side of himself. You can also spot a kitty plate and that of course represents Umbridge. And we have some items dedicated to Hagrid as a professor. So there's Fang, 
his umbrella wand and a photo strip from Ledger Grade. And then the items on the left are dedicated to Horace Slughorn. So we have his hourglass, which is a mini replica from Giga Wizardry, and a personalized invitation from Horace Slughorn to one of his Christmas parties. The next shelf is all about replicas. So here you can find some licensed items. My time turner that I occasionally wear in my videos, the necklace from Xenophilia's Love Good that has the Deathly Hallow sign. In front of it is a mini replica of the Gryffindor sword. And on top of this is a replica of the Slytherin locket. If you want a close up, you can watch the Geeky Wizardry unboxing. The Resurrection Stone. And next to that, the Horcrux ring. This was another replica from Geeky Wizardry. In the back, we have Hermione's beaded bag, and this is a beautiful replica made by Ledger Crate. And one of my prized possessions, Hogwarts A History by Mathilda Bagshaw. This is a full text replica made by Alarm 18. It is absolutely gorgeous. Sadly, I cannot give you guys a close up of the book, but you can always check out his Instagram for more information. The final shelf, guys, is dedicated to none other than the best headmaster ever, Albus Dumbledore. And because Albus is no longer with us, he is joined by the Hogwarts ghost. So you can see Moaning Myrtle in the back. This was actually a toilet paper holder made by Magical Suitcase, but I wanted to put it up there because it just looks so good. And of course, the Bloody Baron Funko Pop, and he is standing on a Bloody Baron candle. There is a little memory vial, and the date on there is the 10th of August of 2019, and that is actually the date that I started my YouTube channel. A beautiful coin that has the date of the Battle of Hogwarts on it. One of the statues at Hogwarts. In the back, you can see The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. It is a notebook, but I thought it just looked really good on this shelf. Then I have not one, but two replicas of Dumbledore's will. And both of these look absolutely gorgeous and have actual text on them. So it's really fun to just look at it and read it. And they both have beautiful wax seals. The statue that reveals the staircase to Dumbledore's office. That is if you know the correct password. This came in a Geeky Wizardry box and it is standing on a beautiful candle from an Etsy shop called Bookworms Candles and Craft that is called the Astronomy Tower. So I thought it would be nice to put that candle next to his will. That was it guys on my Harry Potter bookcase tour of 2021. If you have any questions about the items in my collection, leave them in the comments. I will definitely get back to you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.